Next, let's get into privacy. At Apple, we believe privacy is a fundamental human right. We don't think you should have to make a trade-off between great features and privacy. We believe you deserve both. Since the beginning, we've worked to help you keep your personal data under your control. And over the years, we've integrated powerful privacy controls into our operating systems, most recently adding privacy nutrition labels and app tracking transparency. Today, privacy is more important than ever. Because when you use the internet and third-party apps, you can be tracked by a complex ecosystem of data brokers and ad tech firms, often without your permission. We don't think this is right. We believe in protecting your privacy and giving you transparency and control over your information. And to tell you about the new ways we're giving you even more control, here are Katie and Eric. Thanks, Craig. Let's start with mail. If you're like me, you get a lot of marketing emails like this. What you may not realize is that many of these emails use invisible pixels to collect information about your mail activity, like when you open a message and even your IP address. We think you should be able to choose whether to allow this or not. So now in the Mail app, we're introducing mail privacy protection. Here's what it does. It hides your IP address so senders can't link it to your other online activity or determine your location. And it prevents senders from seeing if and when you've opened their email. So now you can catch up on email with greater peace of mind. Safari leads the industry in protecting you against cross-site tracking with intelligent tracking prevention. And this year, we're making it even stronger by also hiding your IP address from trackers so they can't use it to link your activity across different sites or learn your location. You can see which trackers are prevented from profiling you in the Safari Privacy Report. We wanted to bring this same transparency to apps you use, too. So we're introducing the App Privacy Report. This new section in Settings gives you an overview of how apps treat your privacy. You can see how often apps use the permission you've granted to access your location, photos, camera, microphone, contacts, and more during the last seven days. And to find out who your data may be shared with, you can see all the third-party domains the app is contacting. So these are our new privacy system controls. Now, let's talk about Siri. Siri is available across all of your Apple devices, allowing you to quickly get things done with just your voice. And Siri is being used more than ever on over 600 million devices each month. We recently added more diverse Siri voice options and they sound incredible. Hi, I'm Siri. If you need anything, just ask. Now, Siri has a ton of great new features this year, but today we want to focus on a major update to privacy. Siri's designed to process as much data on device as possible, keeping your information private. And with the power of the neural engine, we're able to do this more than ever. Today, we're introducing on-device speech recognition. This means that by default, your audio is all processed right on your iPhone or iPad. This addresses the biggest privacy concern we hear for voice assistance, which is unwanted audio recording. And this has some great benefits beyond privacy. First, you can now make many requests without an internet connection, launch apps, change settings, control music, and more. Second, on-device processing speeds things up. Check this out. I'll do a few requests back to back. Open Photos. Open Calendar. Turn on Airplane Mode. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Switch to Dark Mode. Wake me up at 7 a.m. It's amazing how fast Siri is with on-device processing. So those are some of the powerful new privacy protections in Mail, Safari, and your apps, along with on-device speech recognition for Siri. Back to you, Craig. 